be doing a nunchuck tutorial on variations of figure eights. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button because on this channel we do a lot of Taekwondo tips, tutorials, and just videos to help you improve in Taekwondo. And if you feel like supporting the channel even more, be sure to check out my Patreon. The link is in the description below. Now let's go ahead and get started with the nunchuck tutorial. Okay, so to do most of these tricks, you have to be able to do a figure eight. Here's what it looks like when you do it with one hand. You have to be able to do that with both hands. It looks like this. So the first variation is pretty easy. For this one, we're just gonna do crosses and uncrosses. To start with your nunchucks up here, go ahead and do one figure eight inside, outside, then cross your arms, inside, outside, cross your arms. So we just take turns crossing and uncrossing our arms. It doesn't really matter which hand goes on top or under, it's just gonna be your personal preference or whatever you think looks better. The second variation that we're gonna do are gonna be figure eights with hand rolls. If you don't know how to do hand rolls yet, make sure you check out my tutorial on how to do a hand roll. I think I have it. If not, leave me a comment. Or if you're still pretty new to nunchucks, I do have an online nunchucks training program which you can purchase. Um, I'll leave all that information on the description below. This fly is driving me insane. Basically, a hand roll looks like this. Now, we're just gonna learn it with one hand today. You're gonna bring it up like this, and you're just gonna be doing your figure eights like normal, except when you go to the first side, so when you swing it to the inside like this, you're gonna let it wrap around the back of your hand so that you can do the handle. So let's just try that part. You're gonna swing and let it wrap around the back of your hand. Again, ready, swing, wrap around the back of your hand. Once you have that down pretty well, let's go ahead and try it with the actual hand roll. Try it again. Okay, so now you have the first half of this down. What you're gonna do is do the second half of the hand roll. So let's go ahead and do the first half and then freeze right where you catch it. So from here, you're gonna let the nunchuck come back on the other side and you're just gonna finish the outside part of your figure eight. And it's gonna do a reverse hand roll around the back of your hand like that. Let's go ahead and try that again. Ready, first half of the hand roll on the inside, catch it, swing it to the other side, and do the back side of the hand roll. Once you know how the motion goes, then it helps if you actually don't stop in between and you just use the momentum to go right through it. It looks like this. So some other things you can do, you can do it with two hands at a time, you can do it crossing, you can do one hand then the other hand, just mix it up and do whatever you think looks cool. Okay, the next variation that we're gonna do are gonna be backwards figure eights. So we know how to do our forward figure eights that look like this. Now we're gonna switch it up and go backwards. To go backwards, I think the easiest way is to start off doing backwards spins on the outside like this. Now you're gonna just switch and do them on the inside. Now you're gonna switch, do them on the outside. Oops. Switch, do them on the inside. Once you have that down, that's pretty much it. You're just gonna go from the outside to the inside, to the outside to the inside, going backwards that whole entire time. Looks like this. Just to make sure you got the difference between forwards and backwards, forwards is this, and backwards is this. This one's forwards, here's backwards. So you can do this to switch up the moves that you're doing. Maybe you have a move where you do a cross strike, a rebound, and you don't wanna just come right back up. Maybe you wanna do a figure eight up. So you can switch it up and add in a figure eight. You go strike, rebound, and figure eight to come up. Just gives it a little bit more flash. A good way to practice these as well is doing figure eight going down and coming back up like this. Okay, so the last variation that we're gonna do is adding an extra spin to your figure eight. It looks like this. So here's your normal figure eight, and here's the one with the extra spin. I'm gonna teach you how to learn this one with one hand first. 
So you're going to be doing the normal part of your figure eight. You're going to go forwards, backwards. Now, instead of coming back to the front like this, you're going to turn your hand down. When your hand is turned down, it's going to do an extra spin in the back and then you come back to the front. So you're going to go, so instead of just two spins, one, two, come back to the front, we're going to go one, two, switch it down, let it rotate an extra time and then come back to your normal figure eight. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Let me show you what it looks like from the side. We're gonna go one, two, down, spin. One, two, down, spin. So the trick is after the second half of your spin, just switch your hand to point down so that the nunchuck can do an extra spin behind your body like this. So once again, it looks like this. One, two, down. One, two, down. Once you get that down, go ahead and try it with two hands. Okay guys, I really hope that this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or requests, just leave them in the comments below. Make sure that you subscribe to the channel and also check out my Patreon page if you want to help support this channel. And that's all. I will see you guys all next time and good luck training. Bye!